G'day, fellas, and welcome to another casted game, the second game in the series between Maito and Kaiser Klein. We're casting the Sup Cup and spawning in over on the west hand side. We have got Kaiser Klein, who is playing as the Germans, his trusty old Germans. We saw him in the first game playing as the French. Second game, he brings out the Germans. No real surprise. I, I feel like we could be casting Age of Empires 3 in like 2050, and Kaiser Klein would still be rank one on the ladder. He'd still be 700 ELO above the next guy, and he'd still be playing just France, just Germany. And after every game that he loses to anything that's not Germany or France, he's like. <laughs> Yeah, he's so mad. Oh, God. But you love it, don't you? You know, you love to hate Kaiser Klein, but at the same time, you love to love him as well. But uh, this map is going to be the map Punjab. Uh, I'm glad I remembered that one, Punjab. Uh, on the other side of the map, we've got Maito who is spawning in, and he's playing as Mexico. Uh, so uh, we saw Maito play Mexico in the first game between these two guys. Obviously, in the second game, he's picked it up as well. So that, to me, indicates that he is more than allowed to play it. Uh, nice little find here. He's picked up 80 wood here. Also going to find 100 food treasure. So very, very nice treasures already in the early game for Mido. Kaiser Klein yet to spot those out. Obviously going to be moving towards the north side because that's where all those buffalo are. And uh, you can see up towards that northern river, it looks like all of them have been claimed at this point. Uh, two going over towards Mido. I think three coming down towards Kaiser Klein. Yeah, three coming down to Kle Kaiser Klein. So sometimes you get five spawns, sometimes you get four, sometimes you get three, but uh, it looks like it's going to just be a five spawn today. We'll check in with uh, with Mido, see how he's doing. Lost a fair bit of health off that uh, off that Explorer, 180, 190 rather. Not the best, not the best, but um, well, that was just me burping a little bit from my Dr. Pepper. Uh, going to be going up with that standard card. I'm not going to say it. Uh, actually, we're going to say it. El Hondiga de... Granaditos. Uh, coming in for him, he's going to be sending out that Halcy Underwagon. We'll see if he plays it aggressive. So one of the things to note is that sometimes he will send it forward, and that's exactly what it looks like he's going to be doing. Um, but uh, now going to be, yeah, moving forward. A village are going to be coming out as well. I don't know if that's intentional. Oh, and the water buffaloes as well. Oh, it's a smart move because the Halcy Under is going to buff them up. This is a, a smart move. He's actually kept one of the water buffaloes back. He's probably going to be eating this one up. You can see he actually deletes it, moves the villagers over to it. Rest of them going to come out here into the middle of the map. How's the, how's the under going to be coming down? Villager a little bit far away from here. You've got to be careful. If those uh, if that explorer moves in uh, right now, it will be able to take those. But uh, speaking of explorers up towards the north, it looks like Martin Waldsimula. Uh, hold on. Martin Waldsimula. Uh, Mueller? I think that's Mueller, isn't it? Martin Waldsimula. Uh, he's going to be looking to try and uh, get Stone the Wolf. Not going to have a lot of luck. He manages to escape, breaks that snare, continues moving away. It looks like he's going to get that crack shot off as well. Nope, not, not going to go for it. Villager coming out. Going to be looking to do a bit of hurting here. You can see Kaiser Klein's probably after this. F scouts out the town center as well. Uh, going to be falling back. You can see that age up in queue at the moment. Quartermaster going to be the way that he plays. Hunting dogs as well as uh, as well as well Gangsaw uh, coming through. I did remember that one. You can see he's heavily on wood at the moment, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do see him moving down towards the south. And look at this. We've got a settler wagon on the front line. It has been found out by a little bit of a grove rickshaw. So uh, just spotting that down and being extra annoying, um, that grove rickshaw doing paying off very well. But uh, Mido are going to be in a pretty decent position here. Uh, also drops down a forward market. Now, this is something that we have seen from players such as H2O, who pioneered the double market strategy. This was a very popular strategy uh, back in uh, in 2008, 2009. We continue to see it uh, prominent uh, even into, you know, the, the mid-2010s. 20, uh, but uh, Alpo is going to be going down for Kaiser Klein, so really looking to create quite a foothold here. And uh, I, I think that already I feel like Kaiser Klein is, uh, is victorious here. Kaiser Klein aging up 411, very early for the Germans, probably sending in the, bo the bows. He is sending in the bows, uh, going up with the quartermaster. So going to have plenty of wood in the bank, dropping down a barracks, dropping down a double barracks, because why the hell wouldn't you? Actually, it looks like just one barracks at this point in time. Mido now reaching the commerce age as well. Hacienda. I mean, it's, it's going to be going down. There's no two ways about it. It's just a matter of time. It's so hard to push in underneath this. And Mido, really in a difficult spot here. I mean, I, I would just say to Kaiser Klein, great, I, I, great ability to recognize what his enemy is up to and how to exploit and defeat that. Uh, so we'll have to see how he plays it. It looks like it looks, uh, it looks like Saltidor is going to be the way that he goes. 
second, or it's a Mango Grove coming out on the front line. Crossbow is now beginning to move out. Ulan going to be able to pick up this villager. Bit of a mistake right there from Mido uh, as he does spot the Ulans come out, but just decides to throw away the villager. Mido not playing the best at the moment. Now we've got what appears to be insurgents coming out. The uh, These guys do not counter very effectively the crossbows. One villager, two villagers now going down. Keep in mind there was that first one. Spears now going to be coming out as well, looking to, to siege down this market. Kaiser Klein looking incredibly strong in this early game. Already got that two villager lead. And now on top of them, we see the Salty Adores coming out. Explorer trying it's best to get a snare and a little bit of a pull trick going to be coming out. Indeed it is. Pull trick now coming out and a beautiful shoot and scoot there, managing to take out one of those insurgents on the way back. Double explore out now as well. We see them just firing off their pistols uh, towards those range units. And now on the front line, it looks like the Ulan's going to be coming in. The insurgents going to be trying their best to force their way out. You can see them coming through and it looks like we've got the uh, the the uh, Chinachos or the Chinachos coming in. He's managed to take out a lot of the spears here. I think there was only four or five of them to begin with. So down to zero and actually a pretty smart cleanup now from Mido. We were a bit fearful in the early stages of this game, but Mido actually doing a great job of cleaning this up. A huge mass here. Great composition. He's got that tri-unit composition here. Got to be careful not to lose any more of those Chinakos. Does pull them back and I think Kaiser Klein's just tapped out. Game number two going over to Mido. A six minute game. Absolutely cutthroat between these two guys. You love to see it. You love to see it. Incredible cleanup right there. What a game. What an absolutely incredible game. So, I mean, I, let's just talk a little bit about how that went and why it went that way. So, obviously, Kaiser Klein felt like he, he was in control. It looked like he was in control. But the big thing that we forgot about was the Halcienda acting as that shipment point. We saw that shipment come in from Mido. He had access to the three Chinakos. Absolutely beautiful. Very smart moves coming out from him. And, uh, yeah, just completely capitalized on it. Turned the entire fight. Just not enough spears in there. Uh, Mido did a great job of taking out the spears before that shipment came in. So as soon as that shipment came in, there were no spears there left for it to happen. If you take a look at the military unit population, you'll actually see that. So you see here Kaiser Klein losing those units right before the uh, the cavalry comes in. So you can see the cavalry about to come in and already, you know, those, those units are being taken out in this in this here, going from 17 down to 15, or I think that's, yeah, it says down to 16. And then once again, and then as soon as that cavalry comes in, already those spears are dead. So such smart moves from Mido. Really well played. And we head through to game number three, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be the final game. I look forward to seeing you guys there.